Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the MSI GeForce GTX 750Ti Twin Frozer Gaming 2GB GDDR5 NVIDIA graphics card. In terms of pricing, this card lies somewhere in between AMD's R7 260X and R7 265. In this review, we'll see how it stacks up against the competition. I know I'm a bit late to review this card, but better late than never. Before I move on, I'd like to thank a true subscriber and fan of mine named Deryal for lending me his card to review. He takes care of all the shipping costs. Thank you so much Deryal for making it possible for me to review this card completely free of charge. I really appreciate it. In the box is the quick user's guide, the driver CD, a note for MSI's hybrid bias introduction and of course the graphics card itself. The MSI GTX 750Ti has 2GB of GDDR5 video memory and uses the GM107 GPU which belongs to the new Maxwell architecture. The core clock is 1085MHz, the boost clock 1163MHz and the memory clock 1350MHz. The TDP is at more than 60 watts and the GPU of course is manufactured on the 28 nanometer process. The bus width would be 128 bit and the DirectX 11.2 API supported. The MSI GTX 750Ti is a pretty good looking card for its price in my opinion. However, it comes with a plastic shroud and that disappointed me a little bit because I expected to see metal here. But of course you also have to understand MSI, they want to keep the cost down in this performance class. This is the twin frozer version of the card, which obviously means the famous twin frozer cooler is used here to cool the card down. As always, we get to see MSI's propeller blade fans. A pretty big aluminum heatsink is used with two heat pipes that are on the other side. And as you've probably already noticed, this card doesn't require any additional power connections. It's all powered from the PCI Express slot. However, this could be a disadvantage when it comes to overclocking. Also another thing I should probably point out, there's a small BIOS switch right there. This is where MSI's new hybrid BIOS feature comes in. You can switch between the legacy BIOS, that's the traditional GPU BIOS, and the hybrid BIOS. The hybrid BIOS supports the motherboard's UEFI BIOS and is compatible with UEFI and the legacy BIOS. On default, MSI sets the switch to position number 2, which is hybrid BIOS. A lovely matte black PCB is used here. Unfortunately, there's no way you can run a GTX 750Ti in SLI. As for the outputs, there's one DVI, one VGA, and last but not least, one HDMI output. This graphics card is about 22 centimeters long and should therefore fit into most cases without any problems. But now let's move on to the benchmarks. The MSI GTX 750Ti is a good performing mid-range card. It plays games fairly well, but of course you can't really run the games on the highest settings. In terms of pricing, it lies somewhere in between AMD's R7 260X and R7 265. And same thing for the performance. 
I don't really know what to say here, it's simply another card you can choose from. The GTX 750 Ti isn't really targeted at a specific card from the competition, it's just a different card that fills a performance and price gap. The temperatures are super low, and I really mean super low, and the fans are extremely quiet I have to say. As for power consumption, I'd say there isn't that much of a difference compared to AMD's cards, but Nvidia won here with a slightly better performance per watt ratio. In terms of aesthetics, it's a good looking card. I'd definitely recommend the MSI GeForce GTX 750 Ti Twin Frozer Gaming 2GB GDDR5 graphics card. Once again, huge thanks to Derial for lending me his card and therefore making this review possible. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.